What's going on guys? Soldier Only here from Sports Nerd Web. Welcome to this episode of The Briefing. And this is the episode of The Briefing that we have been waiting for for quite some time because uh, 1.6 update 1.6 and uh, the Last Stand DLC has finally gotten has finally got a release date uh, or just a little over an hour ago uh, on the uh, division state of the game they finally announced the update for 1.6 and Last Stand and it's actually a lot it's coming a lot sooner than I was think I was I thought that it was going to be because it's going to be dropping next Tuesday, February 28th, which is actually the same day uh, as uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I've already got pre-ordered, so uh, it looks like next week is going to be a busy one, um, of course, because there's also the Nintendo Switch launch coming up and all that, so, um, and 1.6 and Last Stand is actually dropping uh, on all three platforms on the same day, which is great news for uh, specifically PlayStation users, because as we all know, that whole debacle with survival, uh, you know, dropped, and then the PS4 fan base didn't get it uh, until about a month later. So that's really good news that 1.6 and Last Stand is actually coming out on all three platforms on the same day at the same exact time uh, for the first time ever. Actually, this is the first uh, update in DLC that has actually came out on all three platforms at the same time uh, for the division. So that's uh, PS4, Xbox, and PC all at the same time. So that's fantastic news. Um, one thing uh, to remember is that uh, 1.6 and Last Stand is actually two separate things. 1.6 is the free update, uh, and Last Stand is actually the paid DLC that's going to be releasing at the same time. So if you're like me and you actually have the season pass, then uh, you know then you've already paid for it for the Last Stand uh, DLC. So uh, when uh, once it goes live on Tuesday the 28th, um, both 1.6 and Last Stand, uh, you know, you'll just have to download it and you should be good to go. Um, the differences between the two, Last Stand, you're actually getting a new incursion with it called The Lost Signal, and there's actually a new PvP mode called uh, The Last Stand. Um, I didn't, I didn't get on the PTS servers or I didn't play, uh, I haven't played any of it yet, so, um, I did watch a little bit of it and it looks like a pretty cool PvP mode, so um, definitely, uh, I'm definitely stoked to try it out. Now, with 1.6, uh, there's actually quite a there's actually quite a bit of changes with update 1.6. Um, this is everything. This is some of the stuff that's coming with update 1.6, and this is uh, the free part of the update. Uh, 1.6 brings the new legendary difficulty for three missions as well as harder, smarter, and faster LMB enemies, which are said to act similar to the hunters in survival mode. However, 1.6 does not bring a gear score increase. 256 is still the highest level gear. Uh, named weapons are now called exotics and have been buffed substantially in a variety of different ways. Uh, some will be available at vendors, some of them will, uh, be, some of them will uh, drop RNG drops. And some will actually be from the new exotic caches, which are earned. <coughs> excuse me, which are earned from end game activities such as completing weekly assignments, and they'll reward one to two exotic items. Uh, armor is being removed as a major stat, meaning that you won't be able to stack it on your gear. And there's actually uh, there's actually also going to be a bunch of different weapon balances. So stay tuned to the channel um, here in the near future, and we'll have a complete uh, we'll have complete patch notes uh, available for 1.6 uh, coming up in the near future. So, but yeah, it's that it's fantastic news that we finally got an update uh, for 1.6 in, in the last stand. Uh, couldn't come at a better time because the division did see a big increase in player base come back after 1.4, 1. 1. point after updates 1.4 and 1.5 and especially after the survival mode that uh, survival DLC is pretty much what everyone which is pretty much is is pretty much what is keeping the game going right now at this point so with this new last stand DLC with a PvP mode like this hopefully this will bring a lot more players back and also give the game a lot more 
you know, legs. This is also supposed to be the last DLC for The Division, so um, I would imagine, you know, probably a few more, a few months down the road. I'm sure after this, then we'll probably see, you know, some more like kind of free updates and smaller content drops and things like that. And then eventually, um, you know, maybe, uh, I don't, I don't think that we'd really, I don't think, I think E3 would probably be too soon to start hearing something about a sequel, but, uh, I definitely think E3 is probably too soon to start thinking about that, but probably end of the year or something like that. So, but Stay tuned to the channel for more on 1.6 and Last Stand uh, in the future. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button uh, to sub to the channel for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.